Hey guys, what's up? My name's Goldblade, and today I'm going to teach you how to use your Xbox One controller on your computer as a mouse. Um, so pretty much, um, I lost my mouse, and I didn't know what to do because it, I don't really like using the trackpad on my laptop. So I pl um, figured out a way to um, to use my mouse, or my um, Xbox One controller as a mouse on my desktop. As you can see here, um, I'm actually not using my trackpad. Um, so here I'm going to click on my track trackpad. You might be able to hear that. Now I'm clicking. So I'll show you I'm clicking on the trackpad. You, can, you might be able to hear that because of my laptop. But now I'm clicking with my, um, my controller. It's really silent and it's, I love it a lot just because of how quiet it is compared to my... Um, to my trackpad but anyways how you do this is first you need to um you need to have Windows 10 that's the only way um, I know you can get this you can download the drivers off the internet but I've tried that and it didn't really work as well it's just better if you use Windows 10 because Windows 10 already has the um, Xbox one controller drivers installed automatically so it's just a lot easier. Okay guys, so what you're going to want to do is you want to go down here and click on and type in devices and printers. There we go, it's right there. So click right there and it should um, pop up this page. Um, wait for it to um, load. Mine takes a decent amount of time because I'm on a laptop and it sucks <coughs> really bad. Okay, so it's loaded now and it's all um, loaded up. So right here is my controller. You can see how it's plugged in. So um, I forgot to mention, you will need, um, with your Xbox One controller, you will need the cord that comes with it. The little cord that you uh, go to plug it in. It's the same cord, I think, as the um, the PS3 controllers. Um, so if you have a PS3 and you bought an Xbox One, you can plug it in or something. But you can find this um, cord pretty much at any store. Um, it's a pretty simple cord to get, but anyways, um, if you should be able to plug your controller in and it, um, and turn it on, um, and it sh should just be right here. So you right click, or yeah, you right click, click um, game control settings, and then properties. Right here, um, it's moving just because I'm using my mouse, but so the X. X rotation should be like that, the Y rotation should be like that. And then um the um Z axis is your um is right click on the um I think yeah. Right click on the computer, but that's left um left tr left trigger, then right trigger, but and that is um left click. So clicking is right trigger and um left trigger is right clicking so that you can get into stuff. Then you check all the buttons. You can press all the buttons, and it shows you, um, like all the buttons. Um, it closed because I was using. But yeah, if as long as this is working, you just click OK. OK, and then you just back out. So um, that's just making sure everything's connected properly. So pretty much after that, what you want to do is you want to go to um, your um, Windows, and you want to go to um, this site. You can type in the URL, but I will have a link in the description if you want to go. So you just click here, and um, you can find other programs. This is just the one I use. Um, it's a pretty reliable program. It's just a quick to start program that runs in a um, command prompt type of style. So just wait for it to download. There we go. Right there, it's downloaded, and. Um, so I already have one running in my second tab, so I'm just going to close this out. But once you download it, you just go in, and um, I'm going to open my second tab. So there's my recording. I'm just going to bring that down there real quick. So as you can see, once you have it, it launches this. So this is just, um, it just says your Xbox um, 360 controller. I'm actually using an Xbox One controller, so um, you can use your Xbox 360 controller if it's a wired controller. Um, that works too. Or 
no, I haven't checked, but you might be able to use a um one of the uh, plug-in, like the chargeable plug-in things. But anyways, you can use. I forgot to say you could use um Xbox 360 controllers too. But anyways, it should say um, controller report is connected, and then you should be able to um be able to control your computer with your controller. So yeah, that's how you use your controller. I'll show you um. So as you can see, I've been using the controller the whole time. I can, um, you know, I can dra click and drag. I can, um, I can left, um, right click. I can, I can do pretty much everything a regular, um, you know, controller can do. And there is, I, I don't know what the buttons map to really, but um, I'm pretty sure you can. Um, you don't need this if you're playing games that have controller compatibility, but if you just want to use this as a mouse, you can do that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and that's how you do this. Thanks. Bye.